Tomography is a diagnostic imaging tool that we use in radiology. Um, it is sound waves that is used to propagate from the transducer like we see on TV um, where we use gel and the probe on the patient's abdomen or their heart and those sound waves go into the patient and bounce off soft tissues, return to the transducer and produce an image on the screen. This helps us to diagnose patients and um, interpret for the physicians and the radiologists what might be going on with the patient. Two different degree paths. We have um, echocardiography and general sonography. Echocardiography is the study of the heart, the adult heart. Um, we focus a little bit on pediatrics as well. And we also have the general sonography program, which um, does all the abdominal parts, basically the kidney, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, um, and female parts as well as male parts. Our program, I like that we have a bachelor's program. A lot of radiology technology programs are only an associate's degree, which there's nothing wrong with that, but me personally, I like having a bachelor so that if on down the road you want to pursue management or sales or something further or even teaching, you have that under your belt. So the big things that make our program unique here are our state-of-the-art machines. Uh, we have very new technology that the students get to work on, which is kind of rare in the typical setting because a lot of programs will have hand-me-down machines, older machines to work on. So these are very, very new, very nice um, state-of-the-art machines. We have these things called phantoms that simulate like a fetus or other body parts that we may not be able to scan on each other. So this helps give you practice before you go into the clinical setting. So that's a great advantage that we have here that I didn't have when I went to school. So we usually will have a lecture period in the morning and then um, after lecture we tend to um, will scan on each other uh, during a lab kind of setting. Um, they also will have routine lab schedules so they can have one-on-one -on -one instruction with the instructor. Um, they also have time to come in on their free time when we're in the office that they can practice on their own and if they want our help they can have that. If they don't want our help you know, we're just across the hall that they can always holler at us if they need us. But um, they do get a lot of hands-on activity, or a lot of hands-on um, practice with each other in the classroom setting with the lecture period. Our program is designed where you go 35 weeks to clinic straight through. Um, instead of segmenting our clinicals, um, and they get a lot of hands-on 40 hour a week work clinical time that helps them prepare for graduation. It can kind of range from just hospital setting to an outpatient clinic setting um, for just a general outlook. Um, as time goes on though, some people might look at going into management. Um, they may want to uh, work for an ultrasound company where they can sell ultrasound machines. They could travel and be a traveling sonographer so they could tour the United States or even the world if they wanted to um, and do sonography anywhere. Um, there are also jobs to teach ultrasound so they can come into a teaching atmosphere like we did here. Um, so there's a wide variety and it doesn't just include the hospital setting like some people would think.